So, all right, YouTube, we are going to practice the Bird versus Tron matchup because my teammate is playing Tron in uh, the SG Vault. So, he just wants to get a couple reps against this deck. So, this is what we're going to do for a little while tonight. Oh, yeah, I should play Opt, yeah. Um, I'll keep my hand. My hand's pretty good. I think we lead off on Swift Spear. Drawing two shard volleys is not good. Hers is mine into Chromatic Star, okay. I guess maybe I should have mulligan. I probably actually should have mulligan because we can't cast these until they win the game. Uh, yeah, always creature first, sure. Alright, so now I skewer him. Which I kinda it's awkward that I have to wait until I deal damage. Wait, I dealt damage. Oh, cast was Beck's call, okay. So how much damage can I deal next turn? I can deal two. All right, I'll stop. So this is four, eight, ten. Yeah, I just played what Ryan Ferris played at the uh, this weekend. So I think I just go Shard Volley, Shard Volley, and then Lava Man. Because that is 4, 8, 10. And then next turn, if I draw a spell, he's dead. So. So like Lava Man. So he is we have five on the table. Okay. Yeah, and there's light up the stage into light up. Rift Bowl. Can you cast Rift Bowl? Probably not. Off light up the stage. I don't even know how that works. Um Path to Exile is likely better than Searing Blaze. And destroy target artifact is likely better than Searing Blaze. So we have to make sure to side this in. Uh, we probably cut a mountain. I think I keep all the rest of my cards. Right? I don't think. Inside, in, like, Ensnaring Bridge is kind of mopey. Rest in Pieces mopey. Yeah, we're going to go. I could side out a light up the stage because, like, light up the stage isn't necessarily what we want to be doing, but. Because drawing cards against the Tron deck isn't that great. Oh, yeah, it's side in the Foundry. You're right. You're right. Almost zoned out. I haven't had to, I haven't played a deck where I've had to sideboard in lands in a while. But yeah, we're gonna do this. Almost zoned out there. So I think we have to mulligan this hand. We have four lands and no creatures. So I probably actually can keep this hand, but I can't do anything on turn one. I need to go like I need to score a land to the top and go turn two lightning bolt plus light up the stage. 
If I draw a creature, then I'm in good shape here. Because it does repeatable damage. Man, Andy mold a 5, 4. I cited out two lands also Inferno. I guess I could have, I mean, but I don't know what I want to get with this. Tarmor Wife. I should have bolted that Tarmor Wife. Though I'm not really about that life, I don't think. I think we're going to try to just like end this game quickly. Okay, so that means we want to get a Black Source in. Yeah, I, I have no idea. Like, I literally, I just took this from guys. So we're going to go here. We're going to bolt them. I could have bolted Tarmogoyf, but I, I don't think we're about that life. Okay. So, like... Oh, wow. So this turn, we go path this. So hang on. No, no, no. I, I got to do this. Let me sequence this way. Play this. Path this. Get a prowess. And now let's go get Blood Crypt. I'm going to suspend Rift Bolt. And then I do 3, 6, 12. I actually am... I'm going to put him to 1. Yeah, I would, I would like to cast this. What do we draw? Light up the stage. So I think I'm actually... Uh, 3... I think I'm just going to go skewer, skewer, light up. I guess I can start with light up. No, I want to cast it with Spectacle. I hate how my, how it does that. Wait, was he dead? Three? No, he wasn't dead. So I just dealt nine. Yeah, he was dead, right? I fucked up. Yeah, I super fucked up there. I just missed lethal. Right, because he's at 12, 3, 6, 9, this pops. Yeah, he was super dead. I just missed it. Yeah, I, I fucked up. Yeah, I was 13. I messed up. So, I think I'm just going to cast these. I kind of want to cast, well, so I can play the land. I want to cast these spectacle cards while I can. They were still dead because of land. I'm so stupid. I'm all over the place. I'm all over the place, chat. Yeah. Yeah, I fucked that up so bad. I fucked that up. I fucked that up really bad twice. Blah. Yeah, I know. Like, I still messed it up twice. Blah. This is, this is my weak part as a Magic player. Picking a deck up and just playing it. Like, I don't think about things as much. Uh, this hand is very good. So I will keep, and we're just going to play Goblin Guide. Like, I need to practice with a deck a lot in order to be able to play it at a decent level. I don't just pick up cards and do well. It's very, it, yeah, it is very silly that we still like had him here. So I, I think. 
Worm Coil Engine. So I think my sequencing next turn is going to go Swift Spear into Rift Bolt. So that um, if I go Swift Spear into Rift Bolt, next turn the Spectacle is turned on. And this is three, they're at 15. Next turn I cast however many spells. One, two, three, which makes this four, six, plus three burn spells. They're dead next turn. Nice. At least my math says he's dead next turn. Because this is going to be five. No, they're one off. It's one off. If I draw a spell, he's dead. No, this is four, six. No, it's just dead. Because it's because spectacles turned on. Okay. Yeah, they're just dead. <laughs> the old turn three. Holy shit. Holy shnikes. Put a sideboard the same way we did. Sort by converted mana cost. Jeez, that was... So we're 3-0 in games, but he, he's mulling into 5-2 games. He's mulling into 6. I wonder if we can keep hands like this. Because, like, it goes Swiss Spear on 1, Swiss Spear on 2 into Ripple. I don't think we can. I think we're going to mulligan because they mulligan. Like, four lands is a lot. Even though my buddy says he keeps this, he plays this with four lands. Uh, he keeps four landers with creatures. Let's just put this on the bottom. All right, so we just suspend Rift Bolt because it turns on Spectacle or Skewer. So we're just going to bring a Rift Bolt, Skewer, Lightning Bolt. So we currently have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 points. All right, we're going to take three to get this. I didn't think that hand was that good, right? Like, if I, if I just draw, if I miss, then I don't do anything. All right, so he's got the turn for Tronsky. We're going to get a Sacred Foundry here because we just want it. Okay. Oh, he nature's claims his own thing. Okay. So that means he's got Tron. Tricky, tricky. So I go get a Blood Crypt, 15, Sack the Mountain, play Eidolon, probably my best play. So he has Tron here, Thrag Tusk. Thrag Tusk is also very bad. All 
Didn't matter here, but you sack, but you can sack a tap land. Well, no, I didn't want to play the creature first because it deals me two damage, right? Yeah, this Thrag Test just kind of colds me because I have to sack two lands here. So is it actually right for me to board out Eidolon on the draw? Or is it right because he has Tarmor Wife and we don't know that? Like, like Rakdos Charm hitting Wormcoil Engine is nice. Like, whenever I played Burn against, like, uh, Junder Abzan, I always said... Yeah, I want a creature draw? Okay. So should I kept my 7? You're, so you're telling me Eidolon's better than Rakdos. Rakdos Charm is better than Eidolon. Oh, wow, this hand's great. I wonder if I'm supposed to play my Eidolon on turn two, even though it's going to deal me a lot of damage. I kind of want to play my Eidolon on turn two. Oh, he plays Expedition Map. He plays Chromatic Sphere. This makes me think he either has natural... He's got natural Tron. Yeah, that's what I thought. There's a large green creature in there, bolt. So do I just go, like, Swift Spear Lava Spike? Or do I play my Eidolon while it might be able to do something? I kind of want to play Eidolon. Because, like, this means he either has Tron rolled up or needs a second land. Yeah, that's what I think. That's what I think as well. So let me get in here. Because, it, like, one of two things, like, I don't think this hand's beating, like, a turn three Tron. Drag Tusk, okay. And next turn we get in for, we get in for nine damage next turn. I play Eidolon on any turn one play for them. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to play Swiss Spear Eidolon. Yeah. And we're going to get Sacred Foundry because we know they have... You know, I wonder if it's correct to go three, because they're two turns off, so the Eidolon doesn't really do that much, I don't think. Lava Spike into this gets me six, eight damage this turn. Now, I'm going to do it, I'm just going to attack and then do it next turn. Because he's going to have to cast one more, at least one more spell. Like This Eidolon's going to get a shock out of him. Or it's going to kill him. One of the two. If he goes Forest Ancient Stern, he's dead. Four... Six. Yeah, we got him. Oh, 
Oh, I hate how it does that. But obviously I want to cast the spectacle if I can. Well, we turn forward and through removes well. I'm gonna get another beer, I'll be right back. I would like to play first. I'd like to mulligan. Okay. I think my hand's been very good. That's what we're worried about. We're wondering if Tron needs the white splash or not. Like, he's playing a green version right now with Tarmogoyfs. And he's wondering, uh, does it doesn't matter if they can play it without it. So, this is game one, so we only have mountains. I dislike how I can't, like oftentimes, like I can't get spectacle. I can't get spectacle like with a trigger off the switch speeder. Yeah, now we're just gonna, I'm just gonna shard volley them. We have another land. And then we're going to light them up. Burn is your worst matchup. Are you talking about from Tron or... A lightning bolt would be nice. Okay, so now we just attack. So let's light up the stage cast with spectacle. It sucks. See, we miss out on a point of damage there, which kind of sucks. So I think we're going to leave this skewer there. And we're just going to suspend this Rift Bolt. Yeah, so he needs Worm Cry Legend. Yeah, that doesn't even do it. Hit this. Skewer you. And then crack you, yeah. Jeez. Save the volley. Keep maximum possibility counts your stage cards. Okay. You're probably right, Inferno. I don't this is the first time I've ever played Burn. This burn deck's fucked up. Um, 
Yeah, I mean we have another we have another creature draw. I feel like he needs turn three Tron into Worm Coil Engine to win this match. Man, we have a nice creature draw here. There's a big reason why I'm only running this ring skewer. Well, on the late version, I don't have any more time on switching. There's a chance that we should be playing the right, like, I think this deck is very good. Yeah, I think light up the stage has been nuts. For these games I've played. How do we draw a one mana burn spell? Emerald of Promise and Jesus. So if we draw a one mana burn spell, because he goes here. Wow, he doesn't have Tron. So this is three, six, nine, twelve, fourteen. Yeah, he's dead on th he's dead on his third turn. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah, he's just dead. That's like the third time I've turned three down. Stage hasn't been cast. I think I've cast stage like every time. I haven't cast stage before. Um, I haven't cast stage before attacks a lot, but this light up the stage has been sweet. So I, I, I probably so this turns on spectacle. I think I'm going to keep this because like, I think light up the stage is going to keep this hand, right? Because I go Lava Man on one. Yeah, I think that I, I think that the light up, this is where light up is awesome, right? It lets me keep this hand. Okay, so, so now we have to hit a land off of this. And, like, maybe I'm supposed to mulligan this hand. So he draws power plant, but he still doesn't have Tron. Ooh, gross.
why he didn't crack his map. You just have not of a play. Okay. So if I Searing Blaze this, then I don't get to cast these cards. Oh, they literally just tapped the wrong land. They played the wrong land. I think I just attack. They're, they're going to block. And then I play Rift Bolt Lava Man, probably. I probably lost this game here. I can't imagine a world where they don't block. Can I cast a spend off of this? No, I have to. Oh, this is awful. You think Blaze is the play? Sure. I don't really know what the play is here. Like, I think I'm dead. Regardless, I, I can go, like, Shard Volley into Skewer. That feels bad. Like, I want to cast one of these cards. Whatever. We're going to go... <clears throat> There's definitely some downside of the Shard Volleys. All right, we can see the Worm Coil Legend. And he would have had that Worm Coil Legend on turn three if he'd have played the right land. He, I mean, I'm, t I'm like messaging with him right now. Lava. What was his life at? I missed it. I missed it too. I mean, I don't, I don't remember off the top of my head. All right. Heater. So now we just go Swiss Spear, Swiss Spear Spike. Five them. I wonder if it's even worth playing the uh, Black Splash in this deck. Like, doesn't he... He already has Rest in Peace. And, like, do we need Shatters now that Ironworks is gone? Like, I don't know. Because then maybe you can still play the normal land base and not splash a third color. Play this. Yeah, I don't, I don't even think... Well, so there's an argument to not playing any white cards in your main deck and having the white splash for your sideboard. Like, Oriok Champion, Rest in Peace, like, you can play Shattering Spree. Like, I, I don't see what, um, what the Rakdos Charm is giving you. But I also haven't played, like, that much Burn. I can just kill him here, right? If I rip a spell. Right, if I rip a spell here, the game's over. Nope. Now if they play Worm Coil Engine, then... Helix Grave is so good against Helix Grave. Yeah, but you, you say that Helix wins the mirror, but how often are you actually going to play the mirror? All 
All right, Drag Tusk. Drag Tusk probably does it. Yeah, we just drew. I just asked him. It's like, hey, do you have a few lands? Yeah. So we won one match. I think he's what three and one. I'm three and one. I would like to play first. Yep. <laughs> I think I've drawn well. Like, to be fair, I think I've started a lot of games with a, with a turn one creature. Which is what you want, right? Like... I think I, I think I'm running hot. Yeah. So I think I just suspend Rift Bolts, play Lava Mancer. All right, um, so suspend. I don't think I need to just fire off burn spells because I have three lands. So, like, I can sit here, wait, and start to lava man them out. All right, so they have Tron next turn. Oh, okay. One, two, three. So I probably just attack with this now. So I probably just want to go one, two, three. Oh, wow. He's got a worm crawl engine on top. Okay. Jeez. <clears throat> well, I guess worm. He's still dead, even if he goes worm. Club. No, because he can attack. All right. So, <laughs> all right, get here, untap, uh, Swiss Spear doesn't do anything. I guess I still cast it, because like what I'm doing this turn is I'm blocking and I'm shooting my own Goblin Guide, I think. I'm not going to cast it. We have enough lands where we can wait. Yeah, that's what we're doing here. And then we're going to hope to rip.
I feel wrong casting light at the stage. Oh, so he messed up. He should have Karn first. So he just goes Karn. He just goes Karn, kill my Lava Mancer, then he wins. Yeah, I messed up there. I mean, he messed up here. That's okay. Because he just he just carns my he carns my lava mancer, and then. Okay, this is game one, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's game one. Game and resist. I think it's like 12 or 15. We've played a lot of games so far. Uh, Moto is tweaking out, though. It appears my computer is tweaking out. Oh. oh, it looks like we tweaked out for a second here. I think we're back. Uh, I think we're back. How's it going, Ronnie? All right, great, great, great. All right. Uh, I think we can, keep, again, I think we can keep this hand because of light of the stage. Like, we go turn one Swift Spear, attack. On turn two, if we miss a land drop, we just light up the stage, and we look, we dig for land. So this card's dirty. I feel like I'm, I'm stealing something whenever I play this thing. So he's gonna have turn three Tron. Okay. So I probably just go Rift Bolt, Lightning Bolt, deal him eight. He goes to eleven. Or next turn he's at he's at eleven when I untap. This is two damage. Then I've got Lightning Bolt Shard Volley. I can't kill him next turn unless I hit something good. But I think we're just going to 
get in as much damage as possible on this turn. Lost quality options. Weird. I am streaming from a laptop, so that might be, might be what's going on. Everyone in the chat, say hi to Ronnie K Radio, Mr. MTG Corner himself. The man, the myth, the legend, the guy that's making the site happen. I'm actually working on getting a uh, getting something set up so it shows up in my chat. No, we're not casting that. We're suspending. But yeah, you're right here. This is a this is a Twitter at least. Uh, get in here. <clears throat> a Ronnie site, so you should all check that out. I write there weekly. All right, chromatic sphere is beatable. All right, Thrag Tusk is not overly beatable. Because it just immediately gains life. Um, okay, Rakdos Charms. So I can hit this. That doesn't really do anything. The Rakdos Charms are garbage, I think. So I could just path this. I could start with a light up the stage. So let's start with this. Because I wouldn't mind hitting a land drop. Hey, Phil. Billy Boy. Billy Boy, come. You can hear my dog. What's the shenanigans over there? What's up, buddy? So I kind of want to go play a land. Path this, bolt it, attack for five. Next turn, shard volley plus lava spike. So they're 11, they're at five. And if we rip a burn spell and they have nothing, then we kill them. We kill them, we kill them. I think that's our best play. And we should get this. Uh, bolt this. Hey, Phil. How are you doing? All right. Well, instead, we got Ulamog. All right. We yield. We yield to the Ulamog. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think, I think after playing, I don't think the Black Splash is very good, but I just I just took this list from the SCG. Like, I have I have never played Burn in a serious event. I've, I've practiced it against my friends, so I, ju I just took the deck and went. Speaking of that, I should, I should light up the, I should fix the extension here. My extension, Cardboard Live. I forgot to do this. Upload. Um, burn. Okay. I would like to play first, yes. And I would like to mulligan. <coughs> okay, so we know what we're playing against. So I probably just lead on Rift Bolt. We don't need this. We need more lands. So this probably has to get hollow. The probably has to get a sacred boundary, and then we suspend. 
and play Eidolon on two, and then we can set up a Skier the Critic's turn. Comes off hit here. Him not playing anything on one on one makes me think he's got natural Tron rolled up, which is gonna make me hurl. I guess he doesn't. Okay. Um, if he doesn't have natural Tron, I oh, what is this? Spatial contortion. Okay. I guess for that reason, I should have played my idol on pre-combat. But no, he would have just done it in response. It's, it's not an attacking creature, it's just any creature? Okay. Um, okay. I, I can just have six here. I appreciate everybody showing up and hanging out tonight. We got worked playing uh, Drake's earlier. I think we're going to skewer and play Lava Mancer this turn. Very ruined. Thanats here. Um, Andrew is, or Andy's putting out a good, uh, hey, what are you doing? What's up, buddy? Andrew's pointing out a good line of play of where he should have killed the creature on his main phase so that it didn't enable spectacle. Because him casting spatial contortion on my turn enabled, spe enabled spectacle. So just something important to know is that it's a new aspect of this deck that's been added. This is a tough decision. He, he messaged me that he's not sure what he's supposed to do here. Because if he takes path, then I bolt him. I can just attack with my Lava Mancer, with my Eidolon. He has to block. Then I can Lava Man this, bolt him to five, draw another card. Or I can just go three. Like, it's a three-turn clock regardless. Yeah, I think it's right to take the bolt. But... That's gross. I don't even really want to path this. Well, actually, if I path this, attack, he's down to two and he's idle unlocked. Yeah. I mean, I just drew this, which made it so it didn't matter. Because now the play doesn't, it, nothing matters that he did. Because, like, so, unless he hits a payoff, he could hit, like, Thrag Test. But see, like, I attack here, put him to six, and then skewer him, put him to two, and he's idle unlocked. Yo, this burn deck is nuts. 
I'd be willing to bet it's worse to, to a thought seems. Uh, this hand's pretty poor, but I think we have to keep. Like, we've got a Swiss Spear. Uh, yeah, that's going to undo a mulligan. And then the light of the stage is so good. It fixes my... Oh, my God. This card's nuts. Like, if Burn has a one-mana divination, it's just likely the best deck in the format. I think. Because, like... I don't know. It just fixes what Burn is supposed to do. Because now we light up. And then we get to skewer as well. And now we just cast Goblin Guide. Actually, I'm going to cast Goblin Guide because I think there's a chance that I can go like Shard Volley into skewer next turn and get a trigger off this Swiss Spear. All right, well, now we can just go Bolt. I think I'm just going to do it all on my main phase, too. Like, we're just going to do as much damage as possible. Play this. Um, cast with Spectacle. And now they're dead to any burn spell off the top. Bottom all the six, which is just wild. It looks like my computer is tweaking out a little bit. Like it can't quite handle what's. Yeah, I'm going to have to call it here. I appreciate. So we're back. Here we are. I don't know. Looks like we are. I'm probably going to call it after this match because we're just having issues. So we'll finish this out and then I will call it. And yeah, we know stone doesn't matter, right? Oh, he's got a uh, gain four life. Just one damage target player or planeswalker and one damage target creature that player controls. No, we're pre sideboarded so he's just dead.
Oh no, he can he can pop it here. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Play this. We're gonna not gonna crack it so that we have lethal or of a searing blade out there. Yeah, I think we're going to call it after this. Because we're just having technical problems. I have to take the pup out. I appreciate everybody that's followed tonight. I haven't paid that much attention to it. I know Andrew came in with a sub, which I appreciate. Um, Bullwinkle, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate you. But now he's dead. Because we, we have the... Bang, bang. All right. Again, I appreciate everyone that showed up tonight. I'm sorry we had some technical difficulties. Um, I will be back next week. And I hope you all have a good rest of your night. Um... Um, I hope everyone has a great rest of their night. I'll be back next week, uh, Wednesday. Won't be playing. I'll, I might play this weekend if the uh, open doesn't go well for me. So, but besides that, thank you all for showing up. Um, hit the follow button on the way out and have a great rest of your night.